I've been wanting to play Windbound since it was first announced, but never did I think that the survival mode could be so challenging. Now I've learned quite a bit from my first few deaths, so in an attempt to make your experience smoother I want to give you a push in the right direction. Welcome to Indie Game Guide, today I present to you 8 beginner tips for Windbound. Normally I wouldn't even consider adding this as a tip, but Windbound is deceptively difficult. If you want to mess around, experiment and play around with a laid back attitude, you may just want to play on a story difficulty, because in this game the enemies hit very hard, the survival mechanics are rootless and you will probably die more than a few times at the start. So for that reason I will play in story difficulty because you can keep all your items when you die and in survival mode you will lose almost everything. Now the remainder of my tips will be mostly for people who are playing survival mode, but if you're playing on the story difficulty you may still find more than a few of these tips useful. We need to talk about the stamina system first, because managing it correctly is essential for your survival. The yellow bar will deplete as you exert yourself while running, swimming and performing other physical actions, so you can just stop and take a breather to regain that stamina that you lost. But if you keep pushing yourself, the yellow bar will begin shrinking, and if it's fully depleted, Carrie will start starving and in the end, dying. The yellow bar will naturally deplete over time anyway because of the hunger effect, so make sure you have food rations on hand to keep this bar topped off. The gore horns are the first bump in difficulty, so don't mess with them until you've found or crafted a decent weapon. Now you can kill them with a sharpened stick, I know you can because I have, but I've also died multiple times while trying. Just don't bother attacking them until you've found or crafted a bow. Now I personally found the Gorohorn also much easier to beat when I made my first upgraded spear by combining leather, bones and a sharpened spear. Windbound may advertise itself as a survival game and it is, but you rather need to play it as a roguelite the first few hours at least. Since you'll be messing around figuring stuff out and fighting things for the first time, you also will be dying a few times. And you kinda need to prepare for that to make everything a little bit easier. When you respawn, instead of finding a very empty inventory, you still are holding a few items. Now if you look in your inventory, you'll find it's divided into two sections. The held items and your bag. Now if you, if you already crafted a bag at least. Now the difference between the two is mainly that if you die, you'll only keep the items that are in the held items section. Now for that reason I'd recommend for you to keep your most prized possessions in there. So for example to craft a palm bag you will need palm fronts that you won't be able to find on the first island you'll respawn on. So for that reason I always keep a stash of my palm fronts in my held items so I can make a bag immediately and start picking up everything I want. Same thing with the tools and weapons that I don't want to lose. Before you move on, I want to quickly mention that you can always hit me up on Twitter or join our Discord if you have additional questions. And if you want to have a vote on which ending game gets featured next, be sure to subscribe because we often organize open questions and do polls to decide which game gets a series of guides next. Now with that out of the way, let's continue with our next tip that's all about food. So I don't think I need to tell you how important food is in a survival game. So let's just jump over to a more useful tip like don't eat raw food as it'll make Kara sick and make her difficult to maneuver. You can cook food by creating a fire, it takes a while but it won't make you sick and have better effects on your stamina bar. In addition, if you use the fire be sure to craft a cooking rack because that way you can cook 3 pieces of food at the same time or even tan a piece of leather. Crafting is a huge part of the game, so you should constantly be picking up materials. Even if you don't need it right now, pick it up, because you might need it later. You kinda need to play as a locust every time you arrive on an island. Just pick it bare. Take all materials, collect all the food and smash all pots you can find. Once you're done, move on to the next one. But if you find yourself passing the same island again and are low on supplies, have no fear, because everything will have respawned overnight. 
Let's talk crafting priorities. Now I found crafting the palm bag a must from the very start because you start off with a very limited inventory about which I talked a little bit earlier in the video. Now crafting a bag increases your inventory massively and also be sure to look up for upgrades for the bags because there is a bag that will slow down the degradation of your food which is a major help. Also be sure to build up some upgrades for your boat like a pot to have an additional 3 inventory slots and the mast to traverse the world a little bit easier and without less loss of energy. If you're not low on supplies and are wheeling adventurers, just look for islands that are a little bit way off in the distance. Now these little islands may seem like not much, but they can hold rare items or sea shards which are the in-game currency. Also keep an eye out for shrines, sometimes on these islands you may find these circular rocks with a light in the middle and if you interact with them they may increase your stamina or health bar. Those were my 8 beginner tips for Windbound. Now if you have any more tips that you'd like to share, be sure to do so in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so other people can find it too. And if you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to subscribe because we're constantly making guides just like this one. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.